Well, hello there, folks, and welcome back to what is today going to be that little bit of gossip. And we've got various different things to cover, including this year's Chronomancer class, which has been confirmed, and the skills have also been released to us. So we'll look at those in a moment's time. As always, we're just going to ping up the latest daily gifts on screen. So if you've not been along and got any of these yet, make sure you go and pick them up. If you like what you see, watch out for the R's because they are rare tagged. The harvest treasure you've seen on screen is going to be seasonal, but I believe everything else is all permanent items. First of all though, this Friday we have got something new from Tyrannus and I tell you what, this GIF is absolutely savage and yes, we are going to play it for you. We can tell there are some blood drips and you may be wondering why. That is because, well, as you'll see when this flashes up, the Titan has stuck his blade through the other Titan. So goodness knows what that's all about, but I guess new items. Here we have Lei, who has been working on some butterfly bits, maybe in collaboration with Snovas, I'm not 100% sure. Frost of all fairy is the vibe I am getting from these and yes as you can tell they're all wintry items and there's quite a few wintry sets we're going to show you throughout this video because Frost of all is not very far away now at all in fact it's a matter of days. Here we have got Kataro showing us a female version of a particular set that has been worked on. I'll flash up the male version in just a moment. We've got some nice little close ups here and as you can see there is quite a big looking ground rune. Just I'm assuming that's a ground rune. I mean it's not unlikely to see capes looking like that with the different swords. Polar Permanence is the caption we've been given, so maybe that is going to be the name of the set. Who knows? Either way, pretty much all but confirmed for this year's Frost War event, so you'll be able to keep your eyes peeled for that one very, very soon. Now then, moving on. Here we have got the King of the Beasts, the King in the North, coming to AQ next month during our Frost War holiday event, so maybe a boss monster that we're going to be taking on. Here we have got Axaros with, would you believe it, a Frost of All set, and yes, there are more icy themed items. We do actually twist at the end of the video to some nation items, because you've got to remember, Nilgas birthday is only a couple months after Frost of All. In the background though, we're also being treated to a lovely little gift where you can see these massive fists that are hanging off the side of this set. Next up, continuing on with our Frostable theme, is going to be something here created by Dominic. A bit more of a formal set going along with that kind of toy soldier vibe is what I'm getting there. So, there you go. Just for info, Krulon has created this set which looks like it's going hand in hand with the colouring book of law. That that's entirely up to you guys though if you look into that. I just wanted to show you Touch Grass. This is actually in the Black Friday shop at the moment. I had absolutely zero clue that it was in there and may actually be something I go along and grab. They also added in a couple new houses last week, just for anyone that didn't realise, they're over at Centaur 21. And this is what it looks like, it's like a sunset cottage and then also a slightly more done up house with the same sort of theme going on, which I, again, I quite like them, so I might go buy myself a new house. Here we have got Sefi. Sefi has been working on what we can only but say are some nation items and I am really quite liking the look of these. They're going along with that old kind of runic vibe that we used to get down the middle of the armors and of course on weapons sometimes. So I like the throwback to the olden days and fingers crossed maybe we'll see these in some form coming round very very soon for Neil Gas birthday. We also have this kind of like over fiend flame type thing as well. Again, really like that one. So I just really am hopeful and I always get excited when we get closer to Nilgaf and Dage's birthday because I just love some of the items that come out each year for those. There's always something I usually end up picking up. Now then, J6 has drawn this year's Phantom Chronomancer. Yes, of course, it is the calendar class and I have, of course, done a pre-order for it. So as a result, I will be doing my class review on it very, very soon. For those of you who want a bit of information about the class, I'm just going to quickly ping up on screen the class breakdown that was posted to the wiki. As you can see, this time it is going to be a dodged-based calendar class. So trying to hit yet another niche, maybe one we've not hit so much in the past with chronos and these are the different skills on screen if you would like to have a read for them give it a pause because we'll go more in depth on this when i do the class review as always you will have noticed you get the temporal rift stacking off of that skill one which is pretty much bog standard with a chrono and then some of them have got quite a lot of information here which is why that pause would be very important but like i say we will cover this all in a future video I will just read the conclusion though, because you know, you might want it concluded. So, Phantom Chronomancer has a fairly straightforward playstyle that involves balancing your dodge upkeep with your damage output. When you max out your temporal rift and seconds to midnight stacks, you can use time of death out the door to deal a fair amount of damage and refresh your dodge buff reliably. 
or you can build your time of death damage even higher by applying your guillotine and impalement auras first but at a severe cost to mana while also risking your dodge upkeep so it'll be really interesting to have a play with that at some point and see exactly how that class is going to perform classic defender and defender have received some class changes that is also the same for classic paladin there's only been a couple little tweaks to that one there the one that class that has recently though received the most amount of changes to it is going to be Dragon Knight, which you can see everything listed on screen. Well folks, as always, thank you very much for watching. Please do leave the video a like and of course subscribe. Sorry the end was just a little bit talky, which is why we threw all the previews in at the start of the video. And of course there'll be more Nulgar, Frost of All and even Dage items dropping soon. So I'll try my best to keep you in the loop as always. So until next time, have a lovely day and I'll see you all again incredibly soon.